Hi, welcome to the Filibilly Filipino Foodie Blog. Today I'm going to show you how to make pinakbit, one of the most popular dishes in the Philippines. Here's the recipe, both written in Tagalog and English. From the top, sitaw, which is long beans, calabasa, squash, talong, eggplant, okra, okra. Ampalaya, bitter melon, kamatis, tomato, bawang, garlic, sibuyas, onion. Kiniling baboy, ground pork, luya, ginger, asin, salt, paminta, pepper, patis, fish sauce, bagoong, shrimp, anchovy. Alrighty then, now it's time to chop chop. Cut up some onions, mince some garlic. I'm gonna show you my knife skills, which I learned from a Japanese steakhouse. Next, we have ginger, a very important part of this recipe. Or without it, this is not gonna be called pinakbet. I mince it as finely as I can. And now, the ampalaya, the bitter melon, and talong, which is the eggplant. I cut them up about an inch and a quarter. Next is the calabasa, the squash. It's pretty tough, so you're going to have to uh, put a lot of muscle into cutting it. I use a spoon to uh, take the seeds out. I cut up the squash into about... Um, an inch and a half and uh, take the tips off the okra and cut it diagonally into two and now it's time to walk and woe sauteing begins with ginger and then garlic I wait until they turn light brown and then I add the onions and now enter the ground pork in Philippine cuisine, uh, meat is uh, used mainly to flavor the vegetables. One tablespoon of sea salt and a teaspoon of black pepper. Bagoong, the superstar of the show. I'll drop a heaping tablespoon into the mix. This will light up the event. Sitao, the long beans. I put this first because it takes longer to cook. And then the ampalaya, bitter melon, and okra. That completes the greens. Bright red tomatoes. And wow, take a look at that. It's becoming really colorful. Now let's add orange in it. Look at that. Squash. And now some deep purple and white. The eggplant. I put the eggplant and the squash last because it won't take very long to cook them. Next, I add three tablespoons of true fill fish sauce. That's true fill, not Trumpish. A big supporting actor. In the Philippines, we call it patis. And now the cast is complete. Every actor is in there. I put a lid on to let the vegetables steam in their own juices. It's almost done. My mouth is watering at the sight and smell of this cornucopia of fireworks for the mouth. I checked the squash in particular for doneness because I don't want it to be overcooked and turn into mush. It's ready. Okay, let's see how we did today. 
This is my specialty peanut bit. Yeah, it's just, it tastes just like what mama made. I like those vegetables kind of crunchy like that. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.